people, it's your girl Nasa, and today you're going to be receiving some amazing thrift shopping tips from me, the expert. So I've been an active thrift shopper uh, pretty much most of my life, especially because when I was younger, my mom did used to work at Goodwill, and yeah, so like I've become pretty advanced at this, and I've got some tips to share with you. So with every tip I give you, the general idea is to pretty much be open-minded, um, but you know, I will be more specific with what that means. So the first tip is to not go to a thrift shop with like a specific thing in mind. Um, I mean like with things like, you know, black jeans, like you can, you can go thrift, to a thrift shop and um, kind of expect to find it. But when it comes to like specific things, um, yeah, like know that you want it, but don't just go for that one thing because you're probably going to be disappointed and you might not find it. But if you do go to thrift shops more consistently, then you will eventually find that thing. One of the pieces that I really wanted but wasn't able to, you know, find them at thrift shops like until like two years later are these loafers right here. So and they're genuine leather too, like they're amazing quality and I love them so much when I saw them I was like, oh my god, it's finally here. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so I got these really nice loafers for $7, um, at Goodwill, and, like, yeah, I've had them for a while now. So when you do go thrift shopping, definitely keep in mind that you might not find exactly what you want, but do trust that it will eventually get there. So definitely, I recommend that you look around until you find that, you know, those amazing pieces that will still complement your wardrobe. And the other tip that I have for you is to definitely, you know, check out some online thrift shops. So if there's something specific that you want, then you definitely can, you know, Google secondhand options um, and get a really good deal out of it. For example, you can search for, you know, brown leather loafers, or you can definitely find options that are high end like a Chanel or Gucci bag. So one of the pieces that I was able to find from an online thrift store is this top right here. Um, I definitely, you know, really like it and I got it for like a dollar and fifty cents from Vinted.com and Vinted.com is one of the websites that I definitely recommend, especially because some websites don't let sellers, you know, sell items for less than five dollars. And so I got this like on sale in a bundle and it ended up being like $1.50. So another item that I got from Vinted.com was this top right here. Um, I mean, this, yeah, so it's cropped and colorful and definitely 90s vibes. So is this, but this is like the more, you know, vibrant 90s. Um, and it's definitely one of my favorite finds. Um, I'll never get rid of it as well as this. This is also one of my favorites. So websites like Vinted.com, Poshmark, and eBay, um, check those out for sure, especially if the, the thrift store in your location isn't really, doesn't have like a lot of good options for you. And the third tip I have for you is don't worry if something doesn't fit quite right. Something like this button up top is, um, it's an extra large. And you know, when I did, tried on the fitting room i did find it to be like too large um i wished it was like shorter or something so things like this you can definitely find you know creative ways to wear it so one thing you can always do with large tops is tie the bottom end or you can tuck it in real nice into your bottoms and um one thing that i like to do with this is like tuck in the collar and i'll show that in a clip yeah so tuck in like the collar so it's like what's this called an off the shoulder top and so if it's too large, but you really like the print, find a way to wear it. And then if it's too small, um, yeah, so this top was definitely <laughs> way too small for me, but I got creative and I added some, like a, some panels at the end that would add a few extra inches on the sides. Um, I just couldn't let it go because it's like Hawaiian print is my favorite print, like for sure. Yeah, so I added the extra panels to make it fit better, and it's absolutely perfect. So if you know how to sew or you're extra crafty, then you can definitely look at items that are a bit too small and, you know, find ways to make it fit. It's easier to make something that's too big fit you, um, but, you know, if you got the skills, then don't let it slip. My fourth tip for you is to be bold, but don't buy something that you know you're not going to wear. So I definitely like to wear colorful, bright pieces, you know, bold patterns and things that aren't necessarily trendy, but I do have a specific type of, like, that category that I like. Um, for example, I don't like wearing animal print, but I do love Hawaiian print. So even if something like animal print does become really trendy, like, I know that I personally don't like myself in them, so I don't, 
you know, go out of my way to like try to like it. But with something like this, um, yeah, these pants, they're not something that everyone would wear, but I personally feel really comfortable and happy when I wear pants like these um, and, you know, tops with this kind of pattern. So I definitely um, go bold with things like this, but you wouldn't see me in a snakeskin skirt or a zipper print, zipper print, none of that. So definitely go bold. Don't be afraid to wear what you actually like, like even if it's, you know, really out there and you can't think of some place to wear it. Grab it, you're gonna love it, it's gonna make you happy even if you just wear it around the house. But just because something is trendy, don't grab it. Like, for example, there's this time that like these like fuzzy sweaters were really in and I thought it was super cute but like I really didn't like the way I, I looked in them so I couldn't get into that trend. So definitely try it on and make sure that you like it before you leave with it. I think we're on the fifth tip now. So this tip is to definitely like, you know, step out your comfort zone. I know I said that, you know, you shouldn't buy what you like, of course, but if you do find something that's like not usually what you would wear, but for some reason it just works beautifully, then yeah, definitely give it a try. So the piece that I have is this skirt right here. Um, and the thing is, I just don't wear skirts, especially because I have like really thick thighs. So yeah, this skirt. It just, you know, it drew me in and I put it on and like I loved everything about it. Like, and the other thing that I like is that it actually has like these shorts, you know, under them. So, you know, no one's going to see my butt cheeks. Yeah, so I normally don't wear skirts this short, but these are just super cute. Yeah, so the last tip that I have for you, it's very important. It is to put the clothes in the laundry basket as soon as it gets home. You have to remember that you are buying these clothes secondhand and even if they don't smell and they look brand new, it's still a really good idea to wash it. Even if the owner has never worn it and the tag is like still on it, um, you just don't know how long it was just sitting in the closet collecting dust. Um, there could be a whole bunch of allergens in there. Maybe they had a cat and there's some like, you know, cat hairs in it and you're have, you have an allergy. So definitely wash it before you actually put it into your drawer, your closet, all that stuff. Yeah, those are all the tips that I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something and that you feel, you know, more prepared to step into the world of thrift shopping and you know, you're ready to start finding some of the best amazing pieces um, in your closet. And that is all beautiful people. I send you my love. Mwah.